good morning everyone i am jay suresh kumar k working as a assistant professor in kesar college of fashion science for women tirchangodu today we are going to see a translation studies paper from ba english sixth semester today we are going to see unit 2 let's enter into the topic the unit 2 covers the history of english translation theory education and vernacular early theory and renaissance the 17th century and 18th century romanticism post romanticism and puritans and victorians and 20th century let's see the one by one topics the history of english translation theory the english word translation derives from the latin word translatio which comes from the trans that means across plus seri to carry or bring that means the translation words comes from the latin word that means the correct it carries something from the foreign language it is said that the first known significant translation was hebrew bible dated back to of 3rd century the first translation work was dated from the 3rd century itself from uh, we are in the 22nd century the second topic education and the vernacular the vernacular schools are focused on the teaching mother tongue the language of the mother is the first language acquired thus the native language is the basically best known languages other tongue is a physiologically significant to the students especially children from the basic childhood age we practicing from children from rhymes like uh, telling uh, short stories or uh, giving dictation words these are called as vernacular in the local educations second the early theorists of the renaissance are 17th century and the 18th century the renaissance in a period is a history in the cultural movement making the transition from the middle ages to modernity covering the 15th century the first renaissance starts from 15 to 16th century the main uh, renaissance writers are lacky john and george bagley and david hume some of the english philosophers of 17th century and the 18th century are lacky berkeley and john hume next topic is the romanticism and post romanticism and victorians in the 20th century especially in the 20th century the post romanticism or the post romanticism refers to the range of cultural endeavors and attitude that emerging in the late 19th century and the early 20th century after the period of romanticism the exact term of the post romanticism means that was end of the romanticism is also called as a post romanticism the victorian era spanning duration of the queen victoria rule from 1837 to 1901 it was specially characterized by the expanding of horizons educations and literature in victorian era the especially educations and the literacy policy were taking under cover in the serious manner so the translation also tra- take place in the serious wide manner during this time period publications such as marx engels and communist manifesto in 1848 it was seriously translated in many languages based on the philosophy with uh, Uh, interested persons and the darwin's second the origin of species it was the, the finest text in the biological for how to discover the origin of species in the biological and sociological from this text also transferred in the many languages in 1859 as uh, served as a catalyst for political and religious controversy it means a, there is a lot of controversy in the political and religious controversies in the victorian and 20th century period thanks